beach today and uh, I'm enjoying it by collecting materials. So I'm picking up these pieces of shells to use for uh, a project and I'll tell you what that is later. I'm also getting some rocks and some, some sand. The rocks I'm thinking about making a rock tumbler, polish them, and the sand I might try and purify to silicon. So here's all the shells I got from the beach, and um, I was looking for mostly uh, weathered ones like this, um, and the reason is that shells are mostly calcium carbonate, and we can do some neat stuff with that. And here's the beach sand that I collected, and what I'm going to do is um, I'm just washing it with water to try and get the salt out of it. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to throw this magnet in here and see if there's any iron in the sand that I can collect. All right, so here's one of the shells that I got from the beach, and I've been uh, experimenting with it. And um, it's nighttime now, and the reason it's, it's nighttime is I wanted to, to wait till it's dark, because I wanted to try and make my own limelight. So if you've ever heard the term, like, in the limelight, it means kind of like in the spotlight. Because back in the day, theaters used to be lit by gas lights, and uh, spotlights were, were made out of these things called limelights. Lime is calcium carbonate. And if you heat lime, it turns into something called quick lime, which is calcium oxide. It turns out if you heat up calcium oxide, it kind of releases this like brilliant light. So that's how they made spotlights back in the day. So that's why it's called limelight. Anyway, I'm going to try and heat this up and try to make some light out of it and um, see what it looks like. I don't have any oxygen right now, so all I have is just a map gas and, and, and air torch. So um, I'm not sure I can get it hot enough. But uh, we'll see if this releases any light when I heat it up. So I'm going to turn off the lights in the garage and um, see what this looks like. I mean, it's, it's glowing like a, uh, like a light bulb. Uh, maybe you can see my face in the glow. And just to compare, here's the torch. So, you know, not a ton of light. But it does put out, you know, a good amount of light. And you know, before the incandescent bulb, this might be the, the brightest kind of light that they could make, I don't know. I guess I was expecting something a little bit more spectacular, but it kind of works. It's kind of cool. Light from a seashell. <laughs> 